Hi, so I want to show you a new game I'm working on. It's um, the one. It's a two-player co-op game. So one player is blindfolded, so they can't see anything. All they know is when they tap the screen or when they hit the Google cardboard uh, button, they know whether they're walking or running or running. Um, they, the other teammates. So if you look on the other screen, they can see which direction the person is looking at. What, in, in direction they're looking in, um, which way their body is facing, and they would then guide their teammate around the dungeon to get to a specific place so they can both escape. So, you know, this teammate can't move, but uh, they can guide their teammate. So, there's a, there's a few reasons that why I did this. One reason is because in VR, there's a lot of motion sickness, so. To counteract that, the best way I thought was to just say, okay, the person who can move can't see, um, and the person who can see can't move, um, and that way, you know, it, you know, you get to kind of experience this this odd scenario, uh, and it's a bit of a, it's almost it can it can actually become after a while quite comedic if you think of the game uh, the movie See No Evil, Hear No Evil, um, so you know one person can see but the other person. Uh, can't but maybe they're maybe in, in their case they're even deaf as well so um i thought that would that could create a really interesting dynamic where uh but because of that dynamic it would probably be more suited for something like the hc vibe or kiddos or the playstation vr because that way you know the person who can't see uh can still signal using their body using the hand motions or what to do to the, the person to the other person who can't hear um, but at the same time, I, for this prototype, I got uh, Photon Voice Over IP working, so I can even uh, if I turn the volume up on here. You can probably hear an echo because it's coming from here back out through there. So I'll turn it off though, because it's not really necessary. Um, so yeah, I mean, this was a, this was a very interesting, fun prototype um, to do. I try I'm aiming to do one one VR game, or at least a prototype, once a month. So this was kind of this was this was cool. I learned a lot from here. Um, and what I'm probably going to do is move on though, and come back to this at a later time, when uh, you know when I'm when I'm in a position to. To maybe do this on, on something a bit more powerful like the HTC Vive or um, the VR one. Uh, I thought of some really cool ideas for this though, where like, you know, you'd be telling the, the, the other teammate to aim at certain things, to hit certain things, uh, to hit certain targets, but, um, you know, at the same time, the targets might be close to you, so you'd you'd be, you know, trying to get that person to avoid you. So, I mean, it's a prototype, so it's not perfect. But you can see there's a lot of, there could be some really cool, really cool parts of the game. Um, all right, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll keep you updated. And, um, yeah, if you have any, if you have any, um, if you would like to see something like this taken further, even on Google Cardboard, let me know, and maybe maybe I'll do something about that. But, um I think I'll put this on this, I'll shelf this temporary, maybe till 2017, come back to it then. All right, take care. See you later.